my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ Ike, now I gotta roll with ice. Why they wanna move like that? Why you want go on? Why you want act like that? Why you play hard? Generations caught up, look how things will switch. People they're quick, now they wanna move at the quick. Boy wanna go ten buck, quick. Whole gang, whole man, old school, young jam. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Omega Greed YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of fun things with cars and we learn how to work on all the cars together. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeffrey. Hey, what's up? What's going on? We do videos on my Ford Focus RS alongside the Hyundai Velocir N and the Miata, which is the track build on the channel. So if you're interested in any of this type of content, check out my channel. But for today's video, we're jumping right into things. Today, I finally am getting my tune for my focus rs so if you guys don't know so i've been running just like the off the shelf cob stage one tune um on my focus rs and i've been waiting to try to i was doing i really was spending my time doing research trying to figure out which tune that i wanted to really run run with with like which tuning you know shop or which you know tuning application i wanted to really do so i chose after doing more research looking online looking on youtube going to the forums focus rs forms looking on different you know platforms which tune would fit the niche that i wanted i chose to go with stratified so i'm going to be running the stratified tune so yeah i purchased my tune already online um i had to fill out the information i had to fill out the form as well and i just got the email back so today is what today today is thursday i actually ordered it sunday uh, believe and it took mine it took me a little bit longer just because of uh, I didn't realize like on the first email when you get the confirmation that you purchased it you're, from there, there there's a Google form sheet that's when you fill out your more information I thought they were gonna send me another email I didn't realize that until like a day later so I know that that kind of like took up some of the time if I would did that it probably would have been here a little bit quicker but yeah, and um, the process seems to be fairly simple, straightforward right now. So I do have the tune. I do have to load it onto my access port, and I do need do need to do some data logging. I'm hoping I can do it today. Uh, so I get the data log in, send it out to them. If not tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, I know today's Thursday. If I can get it out to them, maybe today. Maybe I'll get it back for the weekend. Who knows? If not, it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I definitely get the data logging in. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited. I have my Stratified tune. And one of the reasons why I want to go with this tune is because I want to do their verbal tune, which is essentially, it's, <laughs> it, makes the car has, it makes the car have a whole bunch of like cracks and pops and, and stuff like that. Now, I know a lot of other people, when they use this tune, it sounds great. And that was kind of the thing that I wanted to go for. Now, my biggest thing with this car, I don't really want to push the power like too much. Like I've been doing a lot of research into like what's the most safe, reliable tunes um you know tuning shops that are not gonna you know it's not gonna be putting excessive wear on your car so this is the reason why i want to go with stratified i know there's plenty of other shops out there like that that do great work but i chose to do stratified um yeah so that's pretty much the tune i'm gonna be running with i'm gonna be i'm doing the 93 octane tune with them uh because we have 93 and that's what i'm gonna be that's pretty much what i put in the car well that is what i put in the car every single time um and in case of emergency if i have to put like lower octane I can reflash the car real quickly to put it, you know, back to like stock if I have to run a lower octane um, for the car. But yeah, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna install the tune onto my access port, and then hopefully everything should go smoothly, and uh, we will pick this up once I have everything installed. In the car right now, I'm actually about to flash the tune onto the vehicle. Um, this should take probably like a couple minutes so well i'm gonna there there it is it's my stratified tune so you see it's doing the tune pretty simple all right so while i was doing the tune i'm gonna get my camera set up over here so i can record myself doing the data logs um so the way it works i have to do a couple pulls and third gear and fourth gear um, you have to get the rpms like cruising around 2500 rpms and then essentially floor it all the way just until about red line um, then you let off and you stop the uh the data log wow this this tune's going really fast it's almost yeah look at it
Oh, that was fast. So I'm gonna completely turn the car completely off. I'm gonna actually get out. I'm gonna close it. Turn it off. I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds to make sure it's completely turned off. And then I'm gonna get back in it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you guys the cold start. So I believe with this tune, it should have the valves open all the time. That was one of the things I checked. So let's see what it does when I first start it up. Let's see. Oh yeah, I definitely just heard it open it up. Whoa. I didn't even turn it on. I just heard it open up completely. Interesting. All right, put you guys right there. Okay, yeah. So it's definitely open. The valve is definitely open. That's good. I'm gonna let the car completely heat up and I'm gonna get my parameters, what all, everything I need to do to data log. So essentially there's gonna be a whole list of things that you can data log. Open gauges. From here, configure your data log. So there's gonna be a ton of stuff I'm gonna to have to select. So I'm gonna go through and do that. I'm gonna let the car heat up completely to its proper temperature, and I'm gonna set my camera up. So we're gonna take a quick break. Okay guys, sorry that it's so dark out. Uh, it's got a little bit dark. I had to wait until like the car heated up and everything like that. So actually, I just did my first pull. I didn't record just because I had a good opportunity to do it, so I did it. I uh, did the first pull in third gear. So I'm going out to the road that I always go out to, in Mexico, of course, to do all of my runs. Um, but my first initial thought is, I can hear the, uh, yeah, at first I just kept it in normal mode. The way I have, the way I, I, I told them I want my tune to be set up normal mode, still has like the linear and like the non, uh, like verbal tune. And then inside sport and track mode, I want the, the um, the, the throttle positioning to be aggressive and for that to have the verbal tune essentially on the car. So, my first initial thought, I was first driving around in normal mode, driving around normally, and then when I got a little bit further out of town, um, I put it into uh, the uh, track mode and I can hear the pops and cracks, but it's not as loud as what I was hoping it was going to be. Granted though, my exhaust is still stock. I gotta do something about that. I don't know. I, I really do need to get a cat back exhaust or I should, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking like, I don't really want to, but I might do like a, a mid muffler. So I don't know. My only thing is when I did that with, with the Challenger, it, it, it sounded great. It just didn't sound really refined. So we will see. But, so we're getting down to my, uh, we're about to do another third gear pull. As soon as we get above this, uh, around this little roundabout, we should have plenty of space. So I'm going to go into third right now. Uh, there is a car. Oh, eh, it's kind of far. I'm going to wait a second. Starting the data log and go.
I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end my logs for tonight because it's, 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 it's like too dark out. I can't see. And I don't want to be dangerous. So maybe I'll try and do a highway pull. I hate doing highway pulls because there's too many police off, you know, cops. Even though filmed in Mexico, of course. But uh, we will. I guess I'm gonna just drive home. Maybe I'll try to do one more pull if I can get it in. But if not, it's gonna be a wrap for tonight, and we will pick this up tomorrow. A new day and a new challenge. What's up guys? So this is technically a couple days later. So I did my data logging. I'm not sure how much of that footage I can even use. It was so dark out. I tried to film it. I don't know if I even used any of it. If I did, you guys saw it. If you if you didn't really see much because it was just so dark or the audio might have got distorted. But so I did my data logging. It was actually pretty hard to do. Third gear, third gear pulls were, weren't that hard. Doing a fourth gear pull I didn't realize that was actually pretty hard to do just because it was really dark out and like you're actually moving pretty fast if you're doing a full fourth gear pull all the way to like red line so um i tried to do a try to get them as clean as i possibly could um so hopefully they were clean and I sent them in i also did email them back as well because of the exhaust i don't really hear much of a difference at all in like sport and track mode i do have it inside track mode and there's it sounds pretty close to stock which is kind of weird yeah so the stock it pretty much sounds like it's stock only difference i hear is honestly it's still only thing i really hear is like when i do upshifts i can kind of hear like pops but that's kind of like normal like stock so i did email them back i'm not sure if like the second revised tune is when it everything comes together um i can hear the valve the uh the like exhaust valves they open up all the time when i get into the car so that's pretty cool but i don't know Hopefully that the the cracks and pops they'll they'll come with the second revised tune. I did email them back, so we'll see what happens. But I want to I want to let you guys know this is kind of like my first impressions of the tune. It pulls pretty hard. I think it feels great. One thing I do need I need I need to get better tires. I tried to do one quick like launch. Well, I did like two launches last night, and they it, uh, these tires just can't grip up. So I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. Um, and I may, I don't know, I want to I want to do a exhaust. I'm kind of debating if I want to do either like a muffler delete or like the resonator delete or mid muffler delete or should I get a full cat back exhaust? I don't know. I'm looking up my different options right now because it needs to be a little bit louder. I love the car. It just needs to be a tiny bit louder. So I want to make sure I do my research. I'm continuously doing research right now to see what I want to do. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram, Omega Greed, same name as YouTube channel. You can also check out my new channel I just started, Omega uh, Greed Toys. There's a link down below where I'm doing reviews on retro Marvel action figures. If you want to check that out, you can. Uh, go to the website, geekswithcars.com. And like that, guys, we're out of here. See ya.